Hello, today we are going to be looking at decimals and place value. We have a place value chart. Decimal places are to the right of the decimal point. So let me show you the decimal point here. So such as tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Each place represents a special fraction. Notice the TH at the end of each of decimal place name. You can pause the video, then take notes of the decimal place names in your notebook. If we have an example, like a decimal number, 0 0.54, so it has three parts, a whole number, and a decimal point, and a fractional part. To read a decimal, start from left. Then, we are going to read when we see at the decimal point, when we see the decimal point, we are going to say and. So we have 0 0.54, so we are going to write 0 before decimal point. Then at the decimal point, we are going to say and. Now we have 5 and 4. We are going to read the number after the decimal point. We just say 54. Let's write 54. Then we are going to underline the last digit, final digit, which is 4. 4 is in the hundreds place. Let's look at there. Let's look at the place value chart. And it is hundreds place. It is hundreds. So we are going to write just hundreds. So the answer is 0 and 54 hundreds. So you can read any decimal with ease. Okay, we have another example, 0 0.075. How to read this decimal? First, before decimal point, we are gonna say zero. Then, at the decimal point, we are gonna say end. After that, after the decimal point, we are going to read the number, 75. Let's write 75. Okay, now let's underline the final digit, which is five. And it is in the thousands place. We're gonna write just thousands. So the number now can be read zero and 75 thousands. By the way, guys, let me tell you an interesting thing. What is that? The smallest ends are about zero and 75 thousands of a centimeter zero and seventy five thousands of a centimeter it's really interesting okay guys we're gonna have four examples and the first example is 0 0.25 have to read this this decimal first before the decimal point we are gonna say zero because the number is zero and at the decimal point we say and then we have 25. We drag, we just read the number 25. Then five is in hundreds place. We are going to write just hundreds. So we can read this decimal as zero and 25 hundreds, zero and 25 hundreds. Now example two, we have 0.5. So we read this number, zero and five tenths, because five is in tenths place. We say zero and five tenths. Now the third example is 2.513. So before the decimal point, we just say two. At the decimal point, we say and. After the decimal point, we just read the number 513. We're going to write 513. So we know that the last digit is in thousands place. So we are going to write the name of the last digit, thousands. So the number is now 2 and 513 thousands. Example 4, 51.12. How to read this decimal? Yes, before decimal point, we just say 51. At the decimal point, we say and after the decimal point, we just read the number 12, 51, 12. But the number, the digit 2 is in 
hundreds place. Let's underline the digit two. So we are gonna read this decimal as 51 and 12 hundreds. 51 and 12 hundreds, that's it. Okay, now let's write down how to read a decimal number. First, start from left. Second, at the decimal point, say N. Third, after the decimal point, read after the decimal point. Just after the decimal point, read the number. Fourth, say the name of the last final digit. The name of the final digit. That's it. Now, students, we have a couple of questions. It's your turn. Start now and try to solve all questions. And you can practice. If you practice, you can learn more. Thank you for watching.